Hi, my name is Jeff Thornton and I just wanted to take a moment to share with you a Web 2.0 tool called Mural.ly. Um, some people might call it Murally. And um, it's a free service that allows you to collaborate on a visual workspace. Um, you think of it kind of like a big mural wall that people could collaborate together and work together or you could make projects on your own and share those easily with other people. Um, so I'm going to show you just a, f a few things to get started here. Um, I've got a couple that I've started already but when you log in with your free account the first thing you want to do is you'll create create is you'll click create a new mural. Now there are some templates already created here that you can kind of go through and see if there are some that you might want to start with. I would recommend just trying them all just to see what they look like and then you'll select, I'm just going to select a blank project and blank template and then name your project and then hit create mural. And I've already created one so I'm going to go over and show you the one that I've started here. Um, once inside you'll see up at the top here is to go back home this is your share button and the ways that you can share it. You can also download it as an image which is a really helpful thing. You can invite people to collaborate with you which is a really fun way to uh, bring other people in to your mural and then you can go and set your public and private settings and change uh, rights and such like that. Um, let me show you some of the features for adding content. You can actually go and you can add websites um, and there would be a link for the website in your mural. You can drag and drop things from um, from your desktop, just bring a, a Word document or PowerPoint or PDF. Any of those things can go here. You can see all of the different options. You can bring a, a YouTube video and bring it in. Um, one of the, the neat features I think is the second tab is you can actually search for images. So I just do a com search for computer and if I really want that image I'm just going to drag it over to my workspace. You can also upload any images that you may want to put on the site as well. You can move them from side to side, you can resize them and uh, say maybe I was creating a a series of of pictures and things that I wanted students to be able to identify or work with. I can also add sticky notes throughout. I can add a, a title or just a text box anywhere. And again, you can move them, you can resize them, change the fonts. Lots of great features that you could add in there. Then there's also some fun shapes that you can add. Maybe you want to have a stick person representing someone and then you want to duplicate him and make several of him, or it could be a her. Um, there are some stickers that are kind of fun, also just some visual references, so maybe this is step one of the project and this is step two. And there are some pre-made backdrops that you could use, kind of like graphic organizers of sorts. And then I've chosen the cork board, but you can switch the background to any of these themes. Then you can add some comment boxes throughout and give comments. And then the other people who can collaborate with you can also add comments. And the last feature that I think is, is really kind of neat about this is you can turn this into a presentation, like a, a show of sorts. And you can go through and add frames. And add a frame, say you want that one to be the first part of your presentation and you want this to be the second part. And you want this to be the third part. Now I can tell myself to go to the show and I'll see my presentation and I'll zoom into those places kinda like the way uh, Prezi does. I'm gonna exit the full screen view of that. And you can see I have a pretty big area that I can work with um, and so this makes a really great space where you could actually move things around and have items that are spread out and you could have a pretty big space to plan and work with if you were designing a project. So I'm really curious to see what kind of ideas you may have below that you could add in the comments section for how you could use this in the classroom or how you could use this in the schools. Thanks.